Greetings to all, and those who have heard and believed the voice of Malachi 4, and the gathering together of God's elect, who once again has demonstrated his mercies and grace upon a dying civilization. Blessed is the name of the Holy One of Israel, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The songs you'll be listening to are not worshipping songs, but songs that speak of the day and times we're living in, as the prophet who enlightened us to certain conditions that exist in the churches, restoring the altars of worship and returning us back to the truth that was once delivered to the apostles. What a privilege it is to sing to an audience of royalty. The preliminaries are to share with you some thoughts that occurred to me in the writing of the songs and to hopefully bring you in line as to their purpose. And also for someone who's not heard the message, may they be a guide for them to inquire about the great movement of God. It is important for us to seize the moment of inspiration, for if we don't, who can benefit? I share these thoughts with you, for I believe you also have had the same. And in these songs, may we enjoy the fellowship that this message has brought to us. All songs written under the inspiration of the message of William Marion Branham, whose unquestionable ministry has manifested the end-time scriptures. What a time we're living in. Abraham would rejoice to be living in this day, as the elect awaits the rapture. Blessed are they who partake in the first resurrection, and let us pray that we may meet one another in the air. I hope the songs will comfort you in some way as you journey through these times, manifesting the word in your flesh and serving God on this side of the lost. And as you seek out your purpose to edify the body of Jesus Christ, may God bless everyone. The sun has gone far beyond its equinox and lies in the evening time. And Jesus, Jehovah Savior, has come out of the mouth of Malachi 4. And there he stands on the horizon in the twilight of our day, the sun, who's standing still as it was in the days of Joshua. There he is, that great seven-star general, who has taken the elect into battle down through the ages, waiting for you and me to take those giants that dwell within the recesses of your mind. Cain's attributes of malice and greed and anger, speaking out of jealousy and envy and selfishness, speaking out of our egos and pride and dissension and discord and slothfulness and idleness, speaking out of bigotry and prejudice and fear, the Goliath of them all. How long will we let him live in our minds? He has ruled for centuries in the hearts and minds of men. This is the day she'll rise up on this side of the lost and take the land at any cost. It has been prophesied to you. She'll speak the word and up she'll go through all those ages she suffered so. And don't let Satan rob you of your moment on this side of the lost. Let's rise up and join the spiritual army of Israel and invade the promised land and take those giants. Bring your slingshots and gifts into the church and let's sift out those demons that come to worship God. <laughs> Out of the mouth of Malachi 4, the promise is to you, Jesus Jehovah Savior, has he appeared to you, there he stands in the evening time, that great southern star general who who do you think he's waiting for? It's all left up to you. We can take those giants that dwell within our minds. He's selfishness and he's jealousy. There's one of every kind. You take those giants, you'll take the land, the promise is to you. Every step your foot will take, will take you right on through. We can have 
God's promise If we can take the land Have we faith in God's word And can we take a stand If we can take those giants That dwell within our minds He's ego, he's pride and he's envy too so many of their kind I can hear those voices Of Joshua and Caleb too Voices you know they never die They just circle the globe anew And can you hear the voice of Jesus for he will take us through For we can take those giants And we can take God's promise too We can take those giants That dwell within our minds He's slothfulness and he's idleness there's one of every kind Oh, the greatest battle that's ever been fought And it's all left up to you Who we can take those giants It's been prophesied to you Look at fear, Goliath draws near how many have taken the fall For centuries, for years, with many tears But now we've heard the call For they that wait for us to take The word by faith stand tall Yes, we can take those giants as we tear down those walls Not by power, not by might By my spirit, saith the Lord In the end of mine, all will come to me In one mind and one accord For they will know me through the world as they look to Malachi 4 For they have come to sup with me And open up that door For we can take those giants Yes, we can take those giants Oh, we can take those giants it's been prophesied to you It's been prophesied to you The greatest giant that dwells within the recesses of our minds Fear It's been the very tool that all the tyrants have used down through the ages And none of these had any true character some of them being Alexander the Great, Constantine, Genghis Khan, Napoleon, Tilla the Hun, Mussolini, Stalin, Adolf Hitler, the popes, who at times ruled with much cruelty and fear, ruled the hour of the day. And as we look back on history and humanity, we can see the great atrocities that occurred when society chooses not to retain God in their knowledge and yields to the spirit of Satan. They pick from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and like a roaring disease spreads through the world. This is the day that the spiritual army of Israel will invade the promised land and take those giants that reside within her mind. It has been prophesied to her. They'll take those giants and the promise of Acts 2.38. For not by power and not by might, 
but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And unto the elect I sing, Why the fear? All my life of living, and so afraid of giving, to open up this hidden side of me. So afraid of love, oh Lord, won't you send that dove and open up your hidden side? So tell me why the fear, why the fear when perfect love, you know that he's so near. Tell me why the fear, why the fear is perfect. Perfect love is the word And his spirit that we burn Is falling on and washing you and me Oh Lord, I've come to dine To taste that oil and wine And open up your hidden side so tell me why the fear, why the fear, when perfect love you know that he's so near. Tell me why the fear, tell me why the fear. No, I never, ever chose to walk your way It was your perfect love found me Lord, I'm so sick, you see Won't you open up your inside of me So tell me why the beating why the fear when perfect love you know that he saw me? Tell me why the fear? Why the fear is perfect love will cast out all the fear? Tell me. What a day it is to be a Christian as Lucifer, that great angel, who of course is the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the garden. As Lucifer consumes and occupies the minds of the people, and by so doing we see the scriptures being manifested with people running to and fro and wanting this and wanting that and buying this and buying that, consuming all that they can. For in their confession they say, you only live once. And I'm sure that you've heard someone say that yourself as a testimony it's a, a tragedy really but they have completely bought into satan's program and so they live accordingly with no time to pray and thank the lord for his mercy grace compassion and for his life given they continue to partake of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and the fruits thereof catapulting us into an age of great inventions with signs and wonders where science has finally replaced faith Society has become a rat race, and the people have become the rats. Self-centered, egotistical people who have taken on the nature of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You've heard that old adage, you are what you eat. We couldn't pick from the tree of life until it became flesh. 
It was only until he opened his mouth that we could partake of those fruits. We are what we eat, and may we also become the nature of the tree of life. John 6.63 says, The words I speak unto you are spirit, and they are life. Let us not forget that the tree of knowledge of good and evil is a life form. It is the good in that tree that deceives the people. To the royal seed of Abraham, I sing, Lord, I need your spirit to report. How must I live in this age? What to do to earn a wage? Give me the tongue to speak the word, to live the life that's understood. The people seem so hard today. No time to pray, just seems the way. Oh Lord, I need your spirit to report. And have I tried? To do my best I'm so ashamed of my idleness And if not me, Lord Let there be Someone to change this view I see This plastic age of fearful hearts They hide behind their false facade I fear this way that I see I fear that it's still a part in me I fear that it's still a part in me I see the world as that tree, the tree of knowledge they chose to be. And without God, they think it's right. Let's pray to God, return their sight. The tree of life, have mercy, Lord. The world I see has become a sorrow. I get so down, I just want to leave. I pray, dear Lord, help me believe. I pray, dear Lord, help me believe. That's for me Let's bear the fruits for all to see And speak the word that might save someone For in my mind that has become His righteous ways they're meant to be To change our hearts that we may see the righteous, glorious word of the Lord. Lord, I need your spirit, Lord. Oh, my Lord, I need your spirit, Lord.
his way down to Damascus to persecute the very church he thought he was a part of. Ignorant and blind, the very condition that we are all in in this world. We've been resurrected from the dead in our sins and trespasses when God has turned on the light. And Paul being knocked off of his horse, crawling in the dirt and out of the darkness, where he had been living all his life, there came a voice saying, I am Jesus. Finally, the I am that was in the burning bush had a name to it. Now, being blind, he could finally see. And when he received his sight back, he was back to being blind again, blinded to the things of the world, wanting only to know Jesus Christ crucified, walking with blind faith, and thus saith the Lord. We have also heard from a man in our times, blinded at his conversion, blinded at his spiritual birth, walking with thus saith the Lord, with unquestionable faith, and his ministry has produced the fruits. And so I sing to the elect, blind faith. my faith, encourage me, your word I do believe. I heard a man who stood alone, and blind from birth was he. No matter what the world would say, the word will always be. Blind with blind faith for that's what we've all seen blind faith blinded by faith walking with blind faith for that's what she We know that you've come down And in a man and throughout the land Our eyes beheld the crown A living God who brought to pass That voice that we have heard The mystery of ten seven The unfolding of Blind faith, blinded by faith, walking with blind faith, for that's what we've all seen. Blind faith, blinded by faith, walking with blind faith. For that's what she will need For word by word he spoke we heard What faith I need from thee He shook the world, he shook that tree with things that were unseen And just like Paul, he couldn't see Blind from birth was he God took his eyes, and to his surprise Blinded by faith, 
was he Blind faith Blinded by faith Walking with blind faith For that's what we've all seen Blind faith Blinded by faith Walking with blind faith For that's what she will What a subject it is that we should contemplate. The prophets and apostles certainly had a revelation here when it came to the sovereignty of God. For God who would bypass our complete ignorance all our lives to bring us to a place of understanding, as we not only believe but accept the sovereignty of God, we are confessing that the righteous footsteps are ordered of the Lord and that all things have been ordained. The level of acceptance concerning sovereignty produces that level of trust, which in turn will manifest our level of faith. Peter, having the Holy Ghost, trusting in the Lord, and by his faith, which matched his trust, said that he wanted to be crucified upside down. He was not worthy to be crucified as the Lord. Where were the apostles when it came to the sovereignty of God? May you find a place in this song, and may it find a place in you. O oh, the blood of Jesus Christ. I sing to the royal seed of Abraham, the sovereignty of God. my life there's been some awful times I dwelt in sin and what a thing he's done to me it's the sovereignty of God and as I think now through my was death for me now, life at last. My nature chose for me the path that set me on my road. The sovereignty is sovereignty, the sovereignty of God My life is now in His hands and I'm at peace with God And through the years and by my peers I always seem far apart It never seemed to go my way It always seemed so hard But nothing meant so much to me That he looked down and saw through me And took the time to spend on me the sovereignty of God. The sovereignty, His sovereignty, the sovereignty of God. My life is now in His hand.
Oh, what a day that I have had I can't remember when it's been so bad I need to sing and not be sad The sovereignty of God For all things work together for good For all you know that love the Lord Let's praise our God while we live and learn The sovereignty of God The sovereignty His sovereignty The sovereignty of God My life is now in His hands And I'm at peace with God Let's not regret Him Let's not forget the life we live for Him To overcome in this fallen world A life that's free from sin For all that happens is grace Forgiveness comes with His mercy too And all the while and with a smile He knew you would come through oh, The sovereignty, His sovereignty The sovereignty My life is now in His hands And I'm at peace with God My life is now in His hands And I'm at peace with God The song Fifty days after the crucifixion of our Lord, God came down upon a people, and the pillar of fire laid upon their tongues, and they were filled with the Spirit of God, as they were promised, and went out to preach the gospel to the ignorant and ungodly, to a dying world not wishing to retain God in their knowledge. The fallen nature of man has continued to move his tongue and bring on the atrocities of mankind. There shall be light in the evening time, and out of the mouth of the manifested scripture of Malachi 4 has come Jesus Jehovah Savior, the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word made flesh in Christ Jesus coming from the mouth of a prophet, William Marion Branham, a man who was of the wilderness as John the Baptist was, with the spirit of Elijah. Look to the wilderness. Look to the call of the wild. Look to the mating call of the wild, and you'll hear the mating call of God, a word that has separated a people unto God, washed, saved, born again by the restored word of Malachi 4, around the world seven times. Oh, hear the bull elk's mating call in the fall before death comes and winter settles in. The trees lose their glory. 
The bear goes into hibernation, and nature goes into dormancy. Hear the lonely loon on the pond in the stillness of the night, crying out for their mate or the cooing of the dove. It is that certain sound of love that comes from deep within. Hear a man sent from God and hear the call of the wild. I sing to the elect the mating call. Just like that cooing of the dove As he woos to win Those sounds they begin And she draws nearer to him It's a love so deep within It's his cry it is call to win for he hungers for just a little more of that love she was made to give it's a love so deep within it is cry it is call the wind, for he hungers for just a little more of that love she was made to give. Hear that loon and his lonely cry on the pond in the stillness of the night. Yes, he hungers for just a little more Of that love she was made to give It's a love so deep within It's that cry, it's that call to win Yes, he hungers for a little more of that love only she can give it's a love so deep within it's that cry it's that call to win yes he hungers for just a little more of that love only she can give Hear the elk and his bugle call Certain time, certain season in the fall Yes, he moves to win And those sounds they begin and she draws nearer to him. It's a love so deep within. It's that cry, it's that call to win. So hear the call of the wild and see the love in a child and we'll praise the Lord or the mating call. Let's praise the Lord 
for the making call. Let's praise the Lord for the making call. Where is all the time that we have saved with all the inventions that we have today? There just seems to be no time. And Lucifer has made a declaration to God. We can look into the world and see what he is saying to God. He is saying, I am the great and mighty angel Lucifer, and in the last age of Laodicea, I shall consume the people with my many inventions that I shall bring upon them. And they shall build great cities, and they shall be workers of metals and special plastics and ceramics. For I am the great angel of knowledge. I shall bring forth trade schools and universities for the highly educated to solve the problems of tomorrow. And I shall fulfill their desires and bring to them all kinds of sports radios and TVs and music of all kinds. I shall consume their minds with computers and telephones and watches. And I shall capture their minds in the world of cybernetics and telecommunications. And they shall love themselves and the world I have made for them. I have occupied their minds, and I have mesmerized and hypnotized them, for I am the great and mighty angel of consumption. And in this age of consumerism, they shall run to and fro, wanting this and wanting that, buying this and buying that, learning this and learning that. And by their eyes and by their ears I shall consume them, for I shall be their God, and they shall be my people. For I have captured their minds, and they shall have no time to worship you. For I am the greatest and mightiest angel, Lucifer. No time. And so I sing to the elect, Time.
and take from you just a word or two to keep us all satisfied. His plan is to occupy your mind, for he hasn't got comfort it is that Jesus being Jehovah God has made promises to us. Jesus Jehovah's Savior has come out of the mouth of Malachi 4 and there he stands on the horizon in the twilight of our day the sun standing still as it was in the days of Joshua and there he stands waiting for you and me to take those giants that dwell within the recesses of our mind. She'll speak the word and up she'll go through all those ages she suffered so. She'll take that promise on this side of the lost because it has been prophesied in the last days, and we are in the last days. Is not Jesus a comfort to you? This is the evening time. It just seems so sublime. Jesus made promises to you. And now that he is here, take that step and let's draw near. Is not Jesus a comfort to you? And on this side of the lost, she'll take the land at any cost. Jesus, he made promises to you. This is the day that she will stand. She'll invade the promise. 
promised land Is not Jesus a comfort to you? Now we're at the end Can't you see my friend? What now are you going to do? You'll just have to choose No way can you lose Is not Jesus a comfort to you? She'll speak the word and up she'll go Through all those ages suffered so Jesus, he made promises to you Let's all stand at our post Jesus is the Lord of hosts Is not Jesus a comfort to you? What a world without hope Run to Jesus, let's elope He made promises to you That he will give us his own name We'll be married just the same Is not Jesus a comfort to you? Now we're at the end Can't you see my friend? What now are you going to do? You'll just have to choose No way can you lose Is not Jesus a comfort to you? He took you off the street And gave you bread and meat Jesus, I just don't know what to do You've got me so tied up I feel like one great big knot All I know is Jesus I I know that you loved me first And that's just what makes me thirst You loved me even though you saw my worst That's what makes me love you so I'll never let you go Is not Jesus a comfort to you? Now we're at the end can't you see my friend? What now are you going to do? You'll just have to choose No way can you lose Is not Jesus a comfort to you? Is not Jesus a comfort? Is not Jesus a comfort? Our voice is unique, our eye scan, our thumbprint, all used in high tech security. As soon as we open our mouths, we have declared our presence before God. He declared that I have chosen you, you have not chosen me. It's not right that a man should be alone, and so he gave Adam a mate, typing that God also shall have a mate. God has made many promises. And he goes to prepare a place for you, and it's all written in the word. The Lord is coming back for the elect lady. They shall have a honeymoon of a thousand years, and after that the new city of Jerusalem shall rise up with its golden pathways, and the Lamb shall be the light. Ear has not heard, nor eye hath not seen what God has in store for them that love the Lord. And all shall know the word of God, the greatest love affair that has ever taken place, and the world knows nothing about it. What a tragedy it is for those that have been consumed by the prince and power of the air, as the tree of knowledge has captured the minds of the people. How can we define a God without limitations? And just think, he's coming back for you, all that are born of the spirit of Jesus Christ. For blessed are they that partake in the first resurrection. And so the elect awaits the rapture. And so I sing unto you, he's coming back for you. He's so true, so 
so true to you. He goes to prepare a place, a place for you. And even when Satan has his way, it's all about my grace. I hear your voice as you repent In tears and agony relent You suffer so because you know It was all because of me He's so true, so true And by your will, my love has captured thee. I wonder when I come back, if you will still love me. The love I have for you is true. You know it cannot fade. I am the God of Moses, I am the God of Baal, I am, I am that I am. I gave Adam a wife to be My desires for the same And she will have my spirit And she will have my name There's a house I built for her It's written in my word and they shall come from miles around my word They all shall hear my word He's so true So true to you And we'll live in harmony for peace is understood I'll rule with a rod of iron For all who shall know my word And there will never be no pain So for now, keep the faith I'm the Lord and I lie not Remember when the fire fell My mercies delivered, Lord Don't look back In my word I promised you By my spirit, by my blood I'm coming back for you I'm coming back for you I'm coming back for you 
I'm coming back for you five times for grace. I'm coming back for you. We of all people should be able to answer Nicodemus not only how a man must be born again, but why a man must be born again. The predestinated stage was set forth in the Garden of Eden, and the predestinated serpent seed was sown and brought forth the cane. Praise God for the illumination of the scriptures for our eyes to see. We now understand that the spirit, life, and nature in the blood that dwelt in Cain was not the same as the spirit, life, and nature that was in the blood of Seth. Noah was the last to be righteous in his generations, and the sons of God saw the daughters of men. All seed brings forth of its own kind, Cain of the wicked one and Seth of the righteous. The blood of Cain dwells in humanity, and the fallen nature of mankind has moved the tongues of the tyrants to produce the wars in history. Because of his fallen nature, he is at war with himself. Adam and Eve, who did not come by a sexual act, brought forth life without God's permission. As the seed was sown by lust and brought forth twins, as the scriptures unfold before us. When things that are not so tasteful happen to us, we want to forget them, and so history repeats itself, to remind us of the fallen nature of mankind. God's predestinated plan in the Garden of Eden and the events would bring forth his plan of redemption by the blood of an innocent one, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, born of the seed of God, saved by the blood of God. Jesus in John 6.63 says, The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yes, the spirit, life, and nature in the blood of Jesus. A revelation of the scriptures brought forth by Malachi 4, that Jesus of the New Testament is Jehovah of the Old Testament. With all scriptures supporting this doctrine, there is no other name whereby men may be saved but by the name of Jesus Christ. You came into this world by the seed of man, sown in lust. And you must come by the word seed of God, sown in love, into your hearts to change your spirit and nature and your life. And in the upper room, fifty days after crucifying the Lord, the pillar of fire came down as promised upon them. And as they staggered out with joy, Peter expounded to them that watched what took place. And they said unto Peter, as people should be asking today, what must we do to be saved? And Peter said to them, Repent. Repent, each and every one of you, and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let the Spirit lead you into all truth. And so I sing the song, We Must Be Born Again. For centuries we have heard more psychology than the word. And we fail to see that the signs in thee shall follow them badly. For Jesus healed the sick in just the shadow of a And unto Peter was the token, the promised land. We must be born again. We must be born again. Born again by God's Spirit. You'll never sin again. Born again by obedience to every word he said. Born again by God's Spirit, oh Jesus, what a friend. 
Born again by God's Spirit, oh Jesus, what a friend. Now in these days of Laodicea, the seventh angel begins to sound. It's Jesus who knocks on all the doors, not too many are. It's Revelations chapter 10 has quickened her mind again. The spoken word, the Lord God Jesus, is in Elijah in the end. We must be born again. We must be born. Born again by God's Spirit, you'll never sin again. Born again by obedience to every word he said. Born again by God's Spirit, oh Jesus. In the end, in the end, oh Lord, what will she do? As I think on my own life, Lord have mercy on me too. Lord quicken us with your spirit, we'll search the byways through and We'll search the highways, we'll search the byways, and compel them to be true. We must be born again, we must be born again, born again by God's Spirit, you'll never sin again. Born again by obedience to every word he said. Born again by God's Spirit, oh Jesus, what a Being in the world, subject to the things of the world, contributing to the world, thinking and acting and talking and walking in the world, dead in our sins and trespasses, now bought and purchased by the pure blood of Jesus, Jehovah God, for word upon word and line upon line, till Christ be formed in you, as Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 9. Speak like him, talk like him, walk like him. Think like him. Paul, with all his sufferings, writes by the Holy Ghost, Let the mind of Christ dwell in you. And as the elect walks the streets through this age of Laodicea, she gives off the persona of Jesus Christ. While she suffers to be a testimony to an ignorant and ungodly society, not wishing to retain God in their knowledge, but she shall do exploits, raising one here and there from the dead. For she carries within her the seed of God and carries herself with virtue, dignity, and integrity as she walks amongst the living dead with her mind set on Christ. So I sing, let the mind of Christ dwell in you. One who thinks, oh yes I know, and goes on his own way. And the other who's been delivered from his ignorance now can pray. So he prays for revelation. 
humble nation and Lord, let me think like you today. So let the mind of Christ dwell in you. Don't start to think, don't even blink. No other work will do He's my Savior Changing my behavior Like no one else can do So let the mind of Christ Dwell in you He said forgive and love one another And don't forget For someone just might start to think And go on his own way Ignorant and don't know it Oh, they think that they're so smart They all can give you an answer But they can't see you So let the mind of Christ dwell in you. Don't start to think, don't even blink, no other word will do. He's my Savior, changing my behavior. mind of Christ dwell in you, so let the mind of Christ dwell in you. The end times here, don't start to think, no other word will do, and so he sends the same word that mends to restore to us the truth. It's Elijah on Mount Carmel who challenged all to do. The resurrected living God, no other one but you, Lord. So let the Don't start to think, don't even blink, no other word will do. He's my Savior, changing my behavior like no one else can do. So let the mind of Christ dwell in you. So Everything that Jehovah was to the Jew, Jesus is to the Gentile. And Gentile envelops all the nations in the world. Jehovah Jireh means the Lord provides. Jesus Christ provides. Jehovah Rapha means the Lord that heals and restores our souls. Jesus Christ heals and restores our souls. Jehovah Nissi means God fights for you. Jesus Christ fights for us. Jehovah Shalom, God of peace. Jesus Christ is our God of peace. Jehovah Ra, the Lord is my shepherd. Jesus Christ is our shepherd. Jehovah Shammah, the ever-present God. Jesus Christ is our ever-present God. And Jehovah Tiskanu, the Lord our peace and our righteousness. Jesus Christ is our peace and our righteousness. 
Yes, Jesus Christ, as it says in Colossians 1, 15, 16, and 17, it says, Jesus Christ, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, for by him were all things were created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And so I sing to the elect, the God of Abraham, our Lord Jesus Christ. upon world he's healing me the Lord Jesus will set you free all the people in this world full of sickness not all they see that he's the judge the physician too just believe Or it's word upon word till Christ be formed in you. Lord, I'm so tired of Satan's hand. All my life I've been at his command. But now the thoughts of God, they've come down just to set me free. For the angel of the Lord stood by a man Who else but Elijah from God's own hand To restore the world and the power For he's taken you and me To a land just beyond that river just believe, for he's God who deliver, for he is God, the God of me. You remember Abraham, now he believed, and just like Adam, he was not deceived. So you be sure now that you're picking from the right tree, you see. For Jesus, he's that tree of life. You just pick once, and you'll pick twice. For he's the Lord in glory. He's the God. He's the God of Abraham. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the morning star And he will take you just as you are For he's the Lord in glory He's the God, the God of Abraham He's the lily of the valley The rose of Sharon 